Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Brenner, and today I want to talk about the type of anesthesia that is used for cosmetic gynecology procedures, such as labiaplasty, labia minoroplasty, clitoral hood reduction, anal skin tags, and vaginoplasty. So certainly these, any of these procedures can be performed in a hospital setting under general anesthesia. The problem with that is then there's a hospital fee and an anesthesia fee, and it adds an extra couple thousand dollars to the procedure. So to date, nobody has um, taken me up on that offer to perform these procedures under general anesthesia. On the other hand, we have um, really come up with a great protocol for patient comfort to have these procedures performed in our office. Uh, first, we do use pain medicines, both oral and uh, injectable pain medicines for patient comfort. Uh, we use a topical numbing cream, and then we actually use numbing injections. Once the person is um, numb uh, completely by the injections, most of our patients actually feel nothing for the rest of the procedure and are sleeping, talking with us, or even watching a movie or listening to music during the procedure. But during the numbing injections, that can be a little uncomfortable. So for that part of the procedure, we actually use something called Pronox anesthesia, which is patient-controlled um, nitrous oxide. So it's not as intense as what you would get at the dentist's office, but it's something that is used in office procedures and it's out of your system once you stop using it in about 10 minutes. So we use the Pronox, or we actually jokingly refer to it as the peace pipe, where patients control their own amount of inhaled nitrous oxide. And it just takes them to, you know, kind of the happy place um, during the uh, lidocaine type injections. So we use that during the numbing part or when I'm actually suturing the muscles of the vaginoplasty. And then other than that, many patients don't even remember that part of the procedure.